You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. And I've been thinking about some things that Victoria was saying after she was demoted. And this has me thinking, is there a chance that Victoria might conspire with Adam to take down the great Victor Newman? Hear me out on this. There's some spoiler reasons that I could see this happening right now. You know, Victoria is in a snit fit because daddy took away her toy and that toy was her CEO chair at Newman Enterprises. Victoria has been playing, I'm the queen of the corporate world, you know, for a year. And then Victor wrote her a huge reality check, took her seat and told her, ah, it's just business, it's not personal. So on Monday, Victoria seems to lay the groundwork, official spoilers, by the way, for what she's going to do in payback. And she needs a partner in crime. And it also looks like Nate might not be the man for the job, but maybe her brother Adam is. And I'm going to tell you all about why I suspect this could happen. I'm not saying it will happen, but I think it would be damn fun if it did. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our Winer updates. So on Monday's episode, Victoria is laying the groundwork for her plan to boot Victor out of that chair and take the CEO spot for herself. She is not going to settle for being his underling. So on Monday's episode, she's still really, really hot under the collar, really PO'd about this demotion, understandably, especially because, you know, she was her own biggest cheerleader and now she just can't believe this has happened. So first she sits down with Nate at the GCAC, I think it is in the scene, and she says, that Victor's being erratic. That's the word she uses, erratic. And Nate's like, I don't think so. And that doesn't make her very happy because what she's used to with Nate is him being her yes man. And he's not being her yes man for a very specific reason. I'm going to talk about that a little more in just a second. And then after Nate walks away, Victoria sits down with her mom, Nikki, and she floats the mental health angle to her. She calls his competence into question, and she says he's doing all these things that are irrational and says she thinks her mom should be concerned about his mental status. And Nikki gets real upset at her daughter. And I imagine that she's probably going to tell Victor that doesn't seem like the kind of thing that she would keep to herself. But I think this tells you right away what is Victoria's angle. Maybe she can sell it to the board of directors that her dad is old and mentally incompetent. Well, he's certainly one of those things. You know, he is older. (laughs) But well past retirement age at at most corporations. But I don't think he's incompetent. But, you know, that her portrait being taken down and his being put back up on the wall. I mean, it's just a slap in the face. So these things that are going on on Monday, those are all confirmed spoilers. So the reason I don't think that Victoria can rely on Nate to be her partner in crime for this payback scheme on Victor is that he's looking out for himself and only himself as usual and not his bed buddy. So Nate is usually right there with Victoria conspiring to do what she wants. That's been the pattern for months. And that's what she expected this time. But when she floated the mental health thing and he's like, nah, she was kind of irritated. And then on Monday, confirmed spoiler, he makes it clear, at least from my feeling after watching the episode, that his loyalty lies with whoever is in the chair of power. And really, his loyalty lies with himself. And Victoria was warned repeatedly about this from her mom, her dad, her brothers. She won't hear it. So Nate knows that Victoria's power has been usurped. He does not think she has the power to promote him or reward him or do 
anything for him. And so when Victoria sits down with Nikki on Monday, Nate's going to hustle over to Newman Enterprises and chat with Victor. And this scene to me felt like that he was sucking up to make sure he still has a job and to make it clear to Victor that he's loyal to the CEO, whomever that may be. And you have to look at Nate's history with Chancellor Winters, how Nate and Victoria got together, how he's dissed his family. He's a messy dude. He's a disloyal dude. He's a sketchy dude. And if he thinks Victoria can't do anything for him anymore, then, you know, I think that this could be the beginning of the end for them. So the next thing I want to talk about is that Victoria just name dropped Adam twice within the last, I don't know, five episodes that she's been on. So the first time was when she was talking with Victor when he demoted her. She expected him to try to put Adam in as co-CEO and she brought it up and that's when she was suggesting Nate and she, you know, did lobby for Nate, but in the end, maybe she should have said okay to Adam because if she had accepted Adam as the co-CEO and told Victor that was okay, maybe she'd still be in the CEO chair, but she pulled more of her petty Betty stuff and she got slapped down. So... (laughs) Also, on Monday, when Victoria talks to Nikki, when she's talking about him being irrational, she brings up how he dangled that offer to Adam and then dissed him, did the same thing to Sally, how he screwed over Nick. And then next week, this coming week, the week of the, is it the 18th? Yeah, week of the 18th. She tells Victor, as they're arguing, that it's his fault that Nick bailed on Newman Enterprises, and that's really, really going to tick him off. So right now, Victor plans to let Adam work his way up from the bottom and rebuild trust and everything. But maybe, maybe if Victoria offers him a shortcut, he would take it. We have to remember, Adam probably has the most expertise at plotting against Victor Newman than anybody else on the show, except, I don't know, maybe Jack Abbott. Victoria and Nick have plotted against him before, but Adam could give a TED Talk on it. Think of all the times that Adam plotted against his dad. He messed with his medications twice within the past, like, I think, five years, six years. One time, it almost killed him. And then he set his dad up for a faked murder charge. And then there's all the corporate shenanigans on top of that. So personal attacks, corporate attacks. Adam is a schemer by nature. He's trying to reform, but his dark nature, you know, is a problem and he always gives into it. Victoria Newman has always been so blinded by her jealousy of Adam that I don't think she's ever considered an alliance with him. She has with Nick. She's also, I don't think, ever really given Abby the time of day. I think she considers them as sidebar Newmans that don't count. But this, you know, maybe her outlook on Adam will change. They say that, what is it, is like necessity makes strange bedfellows or crisis, something. There's a cliche at any rate. So I think that she is desperate enough to get involved with her little brother. So spoilers for season 51 say that Victor has to protect his legacy and Nikki faces a challenge from an unexpected rival. What would fit this spoiler, and I'm not, those are official spoilers. What I'm about to say is my opinion, is that Adam and Victoria targeting both Newman and Newman Media could fit that spoiler. If they're working together and she tells him, I'll take Newman Enterprises, you can have Newman Media, I know you want it, after we vanquish my parents, you know, I think he'd be tempted So Nikki Newman and a lot of fans already suspect that Adam is still scheming anyway. Remember last week, Nikki accused Adam of targeting Victor and she gave him this 24 hour kind of BS ultimatum. But he's like, I'm not plotting. And he even went back over to Newman to talk to his dad and say, let me work from the bottom up. So 
If Victor gives him the chance to work from the bottom up, maybe Adam could resist temptation if Victoria comes to him for a devious partnership. But if Victor doesn't let him come to work at that lower level that they were talking about and Nikki keeps on bullying him, I could totally see how Adam would be open to an offer to scheme. All right. So I have some definite things to say about the advantages of Victoria and Adam working together. I'm going to dig into those real quick. If you haven't already, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless updates and click a like if you're enjoying this. One of the big pluses of Victoria working with Adam is, first of all, it would be a match made in hell that could, and it would absolutely blindside everyone. With Nate seeming to choose himself, he can't be trusted. She's already kind of been on the fence. She's still been sleeping with him, but she's kind of been on the fence about whether Nate's trustworthy and he's just not. He says he's loyal, but then his actions are going to tell the truth. He's out for himself and that makes him, you know, as trustworthy as Adam is. So she might see them as equivalent devils. So would Victoria conspire with Adam? Maybe if it meant she'd get back to CEO seat, even if she had to let him have Newman Media. And maybe she thinks that it's better that he's her co-conspirator than him trying to work his way up and grabbing the Newman Enterprises CEO seat for himself, which Victor has put him there before. I would actually like to see Victoria and Adam having some sort of sibling relationship, even if it's them scheming together, as long as they are doing something together. But what I really hope at the same time is that Adam resists temptation and sticks to what he says about wanting to rebuild his bond with the family and doesn't go chasing a CEO seat for himself or helping Victoria go after their dad, because she is clearly, clearly going after Victor. The big question is, would Adam conspire with her? It would be very soapy if they did. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. I am really kind of excited to see Victoria versus Victor, and it'll be interesting to see what side of it that Adam winds up on, because he will take a side. I have no doubt about that. Drop your comments below. Come back soon for more on YNR. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 